हे एवरी वन नमस्ते आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट वी वर इन बाली फॉर वन मंथ एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर विद यू हाउ मच इट विल कॉस्ट यू टू हैव एसम एक्सपीरियंस इन बाली एरोप्लेन टिकट्स इट डिपेंड्स फ्रॉम वेर यू आर कमिंग वी वेंट देयर फ्रॉम थाईलैंड एंड वी पेड अराउंड वन फिफ्टी यूरोज Uh, which was a good deal it was 4 hours of a ride if you are coming from india it will be around like 6 hours of a ride and from europe it will be a very long ride first thing when you enter in indonesia you have to pay is visa on arrival for most of the countries you have to pay a fee which is around 50 then we booked a taxi from airport to our hotel and the taxi generally you can book with uber not uber grab app you can use and you can book the taxis online but it was night we arrived at 12 o'clock in the night so we booked to the airport taxi which was quite expensive but it was 12 o'clock <laughs> that is all right <laughs> the biggest irritating thing for you will be the exchange of money one indian rupee it's 186 indonesian rupee there for 1 dollar it is 15000 indonesian rupiah so just to know how expensive is something you want to convert it in your currency which was a big deal every single time but slowly slowly we got to used to it so first we stayed in the hotel in changu which we booked online pictures were nice there was a swimming pool in the pictures and rooms picture was really nice but uh, once we reached there the experience didn't stay same it was little old and uh, dirty also we spent two days in that hotel and uh, i will not tell you the name <laughs> maybe they improve in future but and then tomorrow the first thing wherever we go we always do is rent a scooter first we went and we rented the scooter we paid for scooter we rent for month we paid around 6000 no 7000 rupees and, uh, we didn't have to give anything in advance he just took photos of our passport and that was good enough a really nice person also we started our hunt to find a perfect place to stay for a long time in changu we decided to stay in changu because there are a lot of options and this place is considered as a heaven for the nomads we are not nomads but uh, a lot of options were there and uh, we look at the hotel pictures and uh, reviews and if if we found something good we go there and visit that place for long time we do like this and you want to do it like this because you cannot take the risk of booking it online but then we went to this street and uh, this street was full of resorts this street was full of resorts and every place you go either they were full or they were too expensive so it but it was really beautiful on that road we found vasundha hostel they have dorms also they have private rooms also and once we went there and looked around immediately we chose that place because they have a kitchen they have a common area they have swimming pool for first two days we stayed in the dorms and the dorms were also really nice one of the best dorms we have stayed until now because they were very spacious and bathrooms were awesome for the dorms we were paying around 12 euros each person and for the rooms you have to pay 30 euros each person so it was not a huge difference so we took the private room they had two private rooms only and right at the exit there is the swimming then the thing comes is food for the food you don't have to worry at all there is this war room and with your eyes closed if you in changu you can go or other places also there are war rooms where there are many items in display you can choose items of your choice and make a play for your own and in 40000 rupiah which is around 3 euros or something you can get a really nice meal it is bali cuisine and uh, i found this particular place uh, two particular place where i will go in the morning and the evening my food was taken care of it was tasty healthy hygiene and people were really nice all the other cuisines are also available and very expensive hotel or bars or uh, everything was available in changu so there was this i am vegan babe restaurant where they have all the vegan stuff which was on expensive side uh, for one person you will pay around 7 euros or like 400 to 500 rupees we tried that place also food was good portions or tiny after that comes the transport for the transport we had the scooter which was taken care of and in bali literally if you are around changu area you want to use a scooter because taxis vehicles traffic is too much especially in the day time and in the evening time so with the scooter you can just go through the whole trek there are so many beautiful places to explore but to go to every single place even to a trekking or a rice field you have to pay 
to go for rice field we paid around 50,000 Indonesian rupiah for a normal swing you have to pay 100,000 rupiah Uluwatu temple we went there for the entry you have to pay around 150,000 rupiah which was totally worth it the temple was so beautiful and its location was just perfect in the end what we did is we left our, all our luggage in Vasunda guest house Vasunda hostel and then we took the scooter and little luggage and we went around the island on the way we booked the guest houses you can get a really nice guest house in just around 300,000 rupees all these places are made with the modern technology and uh, there will be a swimming pool definitely and then food is not included sometimes breakfast is included so these are the prices you have to pay in Bali and here is the total this much you have to pay and I can assure you if you go to these places these experience going to be awesome or there are many other videos you can refer to them also. So in a budget also you can have awesome experience in Bali and if you have any question and you are planning to go or in future also you are planning to go you can let us know in the comment I will be happy to reply.